I'm Michelle, and I work at Boston Children's Museum. Today, I want to make something really cool with you that can fly. It flies differently than a paper airplane. It's called a drop copter. To make this, you just need a piece of paper. It can be any kind of paper, even one that has been used and is ready to recycle. If you have scissors, they're helpful, but you don't need them. If you just have a piece of paper, you'll be good. So go grab a piece of paper now and scissors if you have some. You can ask your grown-up if you need help finding your supplies. Don't worry, I'll wait. Ready? Let's go! Take your piece of paper and fold it the long way, or hot dog style, so the long edges match up. Press down on the fold and then unfold the paper. Cut along the line you just made. If you don't have scissors, that's okay. You can fold the paper back and forth a few times and very carefully rip it on the line. Now we will use just one of the half sheets of paper. So with your half sheet, you are going to fold it in half one way and then the other. When you unfold it, you have what looks like a giant plus sign on your paper. We are going to add some cuts. You're going to cut one of the long sides almost to the middle, but don't go all the way to the middle. I made a little line with a pencil so I knew how far to cut. You can do that too if you want. Then you're going to cut the short sides almost to the middle, but not all the way. Again, you don't need scissors for this. You can fold the paper back and forth a few times and carefully rip it on the line. Now on the bottom section, which does not have a cut in it, you're going to fold one edge to the middle line and then the other. On the top part, which is cut, you're going to fold one part towards you and the other away from you. So they are going in opposite directions. These are the wings. So the bottom part you folded is the handle. You can tape the folds together or use a paper clip if you want, or you can just leave it and really press down on those folds. Okay, now we're ready to fly our drop copters. To fly it, you want to hold onto the handle so the handle is on the bottom and the wings are on top. It's going to spin on its way down. So you hold it up and drop it. And down it goes. Now you try. So you can experiment with your drop copter. Try making the wings bigger or smaller. Make the handle longer or shorter. You can attach a paper clip to the handle or the wings. Maybe use different types of paper. You might have construction paper or really thick paper like cardstock. 
You can even have some drop copter races with someone at home. See whose drop copter spins the most or which takes the longest to reach the ground. You can even just keep dropping your original drop copter and even give it a name. Thanks for joining me.